All right, welcome back to another episode of Alternative Facts. Big news breaking with the Houston Rockets. Steven Silas out, Ime Udoka in, and uh, that's a big move. Yeah, that's no, a big move, man. Um, congrats to the Rockets for getting it right. I mean, you know, there's a, there's a few coaching changes that we've seen in the, you know, in the Houston community right now, and this is the second time they've gotten it right. So we understand that this is a young team. We we knew to rebuild after post hard. This is this is the post hard Harden era. So we're coming out of it. We understand that our guys are going to be young. We understand the rebuild is going to be happening, but we need a coach that's disciplined enough to be able to handle those young egos and those young mind frames. So I think Silas, you know, may be a great guy, but Silas wasn't the guy who was going to be able to instill discipline to these guys. Because at the end of the day, man, we're looking at a super young team. We're talking about averaging maybe 25 age of age, maybe, maybe younger. So like for somebody to be able to come in here who not only has experience, played a long time, has experience coaching under coaches like Popovich, I think it's huge for our team, man. You know, what happens now? Man, we we have a long way to go to where we want to be. Like, but this is a step in the right direction. Sagoon, I think he's going to be a great player for a long time. Um, you know, KPJ, um, also a great player. But there's some things that may have to, you know, shake into shake into getting him right. And that's why I feel like Ime is going to be huge at the coach for you him. know the coaching for him. So um, I'm happy about this this coaching change. I heard some names out there. I heard some Nick Nurses, and I heard some other names out there in the beginning yeah, to kind of throw it out there. Frank Vogel I was Frank Vogel there. was yeah. I mean, let, let's 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 cut it out, please. I'm so happy. That, <laughs> I'm so happy we didn't like you know jump the ball on this one. So Eman has done a great job. We know his history with the Celtics um, and what he did with that team. Um, so I'm just happy that he had that opportunity to be able to come here and be the guy to be able to like take us to the next level. And it's gonna take some time, but I think that he's the guy. I think Udoka is a great coach for the Rockets, man. Like you said, they have great talent. Jalen Green and all these, you know, Jabari. You got Sean Tate. You got a lot of guys that are young. We just keep building this, adding more power to this team, especially height-wise. Yeah. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah. I'm happy about the height, man. I, 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 I got I hear, I hear everything y'all talking about, but this is the kind of guy we need. We need a we need a guy who understands winning basketball. Um, Silas, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know he'll figure it out. He'll be a good coach someday. But we need a guy that has a pedigree that comes from a highly accountable, you know team like not only as a player he played for pop that was highly accountable tim duncan ginobili all those guys then he went over to boston was very highly accountable so him bringing that mentality and that culture to the rockets i think is going to be big i don't think he's going for any 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 bad attitudes that we hear rumblings about um some of the bad you know some of just the stupid basketball that that we're seeing, I think he's immediately correcting it. And he's okay with guys losing playing time if it means you play right or you don't play. Yeah. And that's that's really what it's all about. A lot of these a lot of these young guys, I don't and what it looks like, it doesn't seem like they're afraid. Yeah. Of, they're not afraid of losing nah. playing time. They're not afraid of bad press because they're not getting any press because we're not any good. So I, I'm excited about this hire. Um, and I think it's going to do wonders for the team. And I think we're going to start to, you know, turn the corner. Not saying we're going to make the playoffs anytime soon, but I see us winning more games I got, and being competitive. I got competitive. a question for one of you guys. But so most of the time, these older mindset head coaches, you know, they tend to like older leadership on the team. Do you feel like it's even necessary that the Rockets need that? Or do we just keep building off these draft picks? You mean older leadership as in like a veteran? As a free agent, yeah. Oh, like bringing oh. in a free agent. I mean, you know, I don't think we need them as in, you know, them to be someone to come in and provide statistical importance. Yes. You know, I think they if we're gonna get a veteran in the free agency, it's a different thing when you have a coach um, like on, on the in the basketball and the courts and like you know talking to you different places, but in the locker room, like we're yeah, just we're just too. chatting. You need someone who's like, nah, nah, you can't do that. Yeah. Or no, like you know, hey, pass the ball next time, dude. Like you know, someone who's seen that. So right now, I'm not trying to get a free agent who is gonna come here and give us 18 points a game. No, nah, that's 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 not what it is. Build with these young guys because the longer that we're building with them, the the, the easier the process is gonna be for down the line for them to be, understand how to play with each other. That's the biggest thing right now. It's like. We don't want anybody to come in and, and confuse that because we under, and, and we're not rushing, Corey. That's the thing yeah, with the Rockets. They should. Like, we, we understand. We, we talked, I think, like, prior to our last show before we came, um, 
we realized that we're, in, we're going back to, to a place of just like darkness. Dark place, yeah. we were, so, so we were ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it's like burn the whole ship down. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were ready for that. So we're, we're patient. Yeah. We're patient with this yeah. one, you know. Yeah. So um, I agree, and I don't even think it'll be fair to a veteran. Um, I don't. We're not. A, I don't think we're a winning team. We're not a contending team. It's one thing if we were a contending, a good young team that was on the cusp of contending, maybe like a Sacramento or Memphis or something like that. Yeah. Then okay, a veteran with good leadership tangibles. Okay, boom. That that's a that's a good move for him. Yeah. But we're not even we're not even there yet. I don't even think it's fair for any veteran of any kind of stature or standing to even want to play with the Rockets because we're not a contending team. And I think, and I honestly think, you know, Udoka would give us the, you know, give us that that oomph that we need, that leadership, that yeah. that veteran presence. Although he's not playing, you know, he's not too far from removed the from the yeah, game. Yeah, and on top of that, he he already dealt with coaching young stars like a uh, like Jason Tatum, um, Jalen Brown, um, Marcus Smart. He's already yeah. coached younger guys that were really good. Yeah. Um, you know, although he had Al Horford and some other veterans there. He already knows how to kind of challenge those guys. And, you know, there there's rumors about KPJ and stuff in the locker room and Jalen Green this, all, all that stuff. I don't think he's afraid of any of that. I don't think so. Either. I think he's the kind of guy like, I wish they would. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm, I'm going to come in there and it's either we're going to do things my way, which is the winning way, or we're not going to do anything at all. And that's that's exactly what we need. It's, it's time to... Steer the ship and get it back on. And I think we talked about in the pre-production of the show. We talked about his intensity on the court. Yeah. Like if we, if you watched a few yeah. of those Boston games, yeah. I think Richie talked about. Like you could see like getting the, in the players' faces. Yeah. Like yo, like literally <laughs> getting their faces and letting know what to do. Yeah. There's a certain level of respect that comes with a player and a coach when you're able to allow that to be able to happen. So, so yeah. And no, I think I think with time, do he'll be able to talk to these guys the way they deserve to be because they're still they're still athletes. They all have egos. So at the end of the day, you know, having a coach like him to manage those egos um, will, will be will prove successful for us in the long term. Well, yeah, I mean, we got the draft coming up, so very eager to see what the Rockets uh, take. You know, with the fourth pick, yeah. <laughs> it better not be. It better not be. We shouldn't be thinking about it. Okay, it, should, it shouldn't be a Texan situation. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 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 we let's don't keep love it going the with guy. We don't love the guy. Whatever. <laughs> Overthink. Yeah. yeah. Until next time, man, appreciate y'all tuning in to Alternative Facts.